hello everyone welcome back to this channel today we'll be learning how to draft a basic corset pattern if you're coming across my video for the first time you are highly welcome please go ahead to subscribe to this channel also like and share this video to get started we'll be drafting out our basic bodies pattern first i have a very detailed tutorial on the channel on how to draft a basic bodice pattern you can go ahead to check out the video i'll be dropping the link on the description box i want ahead to draw a line at the top this will serve as our starting line and also as our shoulder line now from that starting line from the shoulder line come down by 10 inches for the bust length Still placing the tape on the shoulder line, come down by 13 inches for the under bust length, then 16 inches for the waist length. And this 16 inches will serve as our full length. It all depends on where you want your top to stop. Mine will be stopping at the waist line, like 16 inches. I'll use the marker to draw lines across the point to make it more visible. I'll go ahead to label the lines, the bust line, the under bust line and the waist line. Now next is to get our chest line. You can come up by 2 inches from your bust line, 2 inches or 2.5 it all depends on your body measurements. And this is another method to get the bust line. Next thing we'll be doing is to draft out our armhole cuff. But before we do that, from the center front, we mark three inches on the shoulder line for the neck width and three inches down for the neck depth. Then you connect the two points. Once that is done on your shoulder line, you mark half of your shoulder measurement then from that point you come down by one inch for the shoulder slope now with your ruler connect from that one inch back to the neck line this way like you see me do now your chest line you also mark half of your shoulder measurement now connect from that chest line to the one inch shoulder slope hope you understand also on the chest line you input quarter of your bust measurements now once that is done place your tape from the one inch shoulder slope to the chest line then divide it into two to get the center point now from that point to go in by half inch i'm trying to get our armhole curve now with your curve we'll place it this way connect from your shoulder slope line to the half inch point you marked earlier down to the chest line I hope you understand all I just did here. I have a very detailed tutorial on the channel on how to draft a basic body pattern. We'll go ahead to input our darts. On the under bust line, mark your bust pan measurement. That's the nipple to nipple measurement. You mark that on the under bust line, on the bust line, and also on the waist line. Go ahead to connect the three points. Go ahead to mark half inch on both sides of the dart line on the waistline. On the waistline, mark half inch on both sides of that line and connect this up to the bust line. But you will come down by one inch from the bust line. Hope you see what I just did. Come down by one inch on the bust line. Now connect from that point to the half inch you marked on the dart line. I hope you understand what I'm doing here. Just follow what I'm doing, you get it right. Mark that. I've gone ahead to create our that. On the under bust line, mark out half inch from the that lines on both sides. I'm trying to get our under bust tightening. Mark out half inch from both sides, then connect down to the waist line. 
from the half inch you marked out from the dark lines connect it down to the waist line now with our curve rule we we'll go ahead to connect our new dart line up to the one inch we came down from our bust line Now we'll be creating our dart on the upper area. Yes, there will be a dart on the upper area. And to get that, we're going to take the measurement between our bust line and our under bust line. Then you place your tape on the bust line and go up by whatever you get. Mine was 3 inches, so I came up from my bust line by that 3 inches. I'm going to mark 3 points with that measurement, the 3 inches. Place your tape on your bust line. They mark three inches up like three points. Now we talk of we'll go ahead to connect these three points. Connect the three points to create a curve. From the chest line, you're going to mark down half inch. Now this is optional, you can go down by 1 inch, 1.5. It all depends on how deep you want your neckline to be or you, how deep you want to show your cleavage. Hope you understand. Now mark down half inch from the chest line and also from the center front to come in by half inch. Half inch down, half inch in. Then Mark a straight line, a tiny line there. I will serve as a guiding point. Hope you understand. I want to draw a straight line from our boss line up to the three inches we came up from our boss line. With. Hope you understand. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope you understand. Just mark a straight line from the boss line up to that point. Now measure when you're on that boss line. Measure the that width, whatever you have there. I have about 1.5. We we'll go ahead to divide it into two. Not like into two. Divide it into two shall. I have like 1.5 inch. Now I'm going to give half inch to the center front and one inch to the side front. Hope you understand. Up on that curve, mark half inch on the center front area then one inch on the side front area connect from that point down to about half inch above the bust line just watch what i'm doing and do exactly you'll get it correctly hope you see what i just did now and this is the dart for the upper area now we'll go ahead to create our cup now to do that we place our curve rule this way, place it on the under bust line, place it this way, the way I just did. Now connect from the under bust line up to the half inch we came down from our chest line. Connect it this way from the half inch actually, connect it down to the under bust line with your curve rule. To create your curve for the other part, place your tape on this area where I placed it, measure half of it, make a point there and come down by half inch. Come down by half inch from that point. Go ahead to rule a straight line across that point. Just mark. Rule a straight line there. With our curve, we we'll place it this way. Connect from that point. This point you mark that line you just mark. Connect it from that point down to the under bust line hope you understand what i did now now we'll go ahead to tighten the dart on the upper area and to do that we'll mark 0.25 on both that legs this way mark 0.25 on both sides then connect it back to the dart line this is just to tighten the darts on the upper area to avoid gaping and also to give more room for our boobs to sit in well. So 
So I'll go ahead to mark on the old dart line because we'll not be needing that again. Once that is done with our curve rule, place it this way. I'm trying to get the curve on the upper area. From the new dart line on the upper area, from the new dart line, connect down to the half inch we marked on the center front. Also connect from the new dart line on the side down to this point. Hope you understand. Connect it this way down to this point. Now I'm go ahead to level this one, two. Level this one, level this two. I'm just using my marker to make the line between the two cup area more visible. So now the next thing is to input our horizontal measurement. And to do that, on the chest line, you will mark out of your bus circumference. You go ahead to measure your dart width on the upper area. Measure the dart width and replace it on the chest line. Hope you understand. Replace it. I have about two inches for that width. So I'm going to replace that on my chest line. Now down to my waistline. Mark quarter of your waist circumference. Also measure your that width and replace that back. Now connect the two points. I will just go ahead to extend these lines so that I will be able to input my sewing allowance. And this is optional. You can do this when transferring the pattern on your main fabric, or you can just add your sewing allowance on the pattern. So I went ahead to add extra 1.5 inch for sewing allowance. Now, this area I'm marking out will not be needed. I will be cutting this area out. Now I'm going to cut out the pattern, the front pattern. I'm going to cut it out. Then use it to cut out the back pattern. Just watch carefully on the area I'm cutting out. I will place this on a fresh pattern paper to draft out the back pattern. I will do that before we we'll separate the cup area, cut out the unwanted parts. Now I've placed this on a fresh pattern paper. As you can see, this is the pattern paper, and this is our front drafted pattern. So we're going to pin this. Now you can use office pin, your pin to pin the front panel or the front pattern on the fresh pattern paper or you can actually use your tape your silk tape to pull it down and this is the easiest method to draft out the back pattern the back panel after drafting out the front panel We'll be tracing the size of the front pattern paper to the new pattern paper, excluding the upper area. Just go ahead and trace it this way. You are doing it.
Now once you are done tracing, you can go ahead to remove the front pattern. Go ahead to remove it. I'll go ahead to use my marker and make the lines more visible. At this point, you can go ahead to decide the neckline you want for the back. You can make it straight, you can make it curvy, or you can just slant it. So at this point, I decided to slant it. So with a ruler, I'm going to slant it this way. Slant it down this way. Or you can go ahead to mark out your desired neckline for the back. So this is our back pattern. To create our dart, we'll be tracing the that on the front panel on also on the back panel and to do that you place your front panel on the back panel and mark out the three that points so draw a line on the middle point and also connect your darts this way the difference between the front and the back is that you extend your darts for the back up to the upper area this way now take note, if there will be a zipper on your outfit, you can go ahead to add your zipper allowance at this area. You can add 2 inches or 1.5 inch for zipper allowance. And if there will be no zipper allowance, just go ahead to cut this out. You are cutting it out. Actually, I decided to lace this top. I decided to lace it so there will be no zipper allowance. This is our back panel cut out. So I'll go ahead to label this. This is the center back and this is the side back. And next is to close up our that area. And to do that, I'll be cutting through one leg of the dart. Just splash it this way. And make sure not to cut through the back pieces. Don't cut it all through. Leave about 0.5 or half inch at the top. Make sure not to cut it through. And at this point, you can use your silk tape to hold it down. And that's all for the dart elimination. Yeah, actually, this is dart elimination. So go ahead to use your silk tape to hold this down. Tape it down this way. Now to create the opening at the back of your corset, you go ahead to cut that some inches from the back panel. And to do that, on the upper area, you can come in by 1 inch, 2 inches, 3 inches. It all depends how wide you want your opening to be. On the lower area, mark in or go in by 1 inch or 1.5 inch. Then connect the two points. I went in by 1 inch. I need the two points. So I'll go ahead to mark out the unwanted area. Yeah. This area I marked out is not wanted anymore. So I'll go ahead to cut it out. And that's all for the back panel. This is our back panel. You can label it your back panel. Or you can actually leave it that way. So I'll go ahead to place this outside. Then work on the front panel. The only thing remaining for the front panel is just to separate the wanted area from the unwanted area and also to cut or separate our cup area. So just watch what I'm doing and cut 
exactly the area I'm cutting out. So guys, this is the end of this tutorial. This is all for the basic corset pattern drafting. It's actually beginners friendly, seriously. So you can go ahead to label this your center front, your side front, so that it won't confuse you when sewing or when cutting on your actual fabric. So this is all for the pattern drafting. I hope you find this tutorial so helpful. Please go ahead to support by subscribing to my channel and also share this video so that others can get to watch thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial bye